So what we can see from the situation that has been prevailing in Syria since uh, March 2011 is that with the demonstrations and with a kind of, uh, of strengthening of the positions of the different opponents to the regime, well, the Syrian regime has decided to respond to these demands by exerting violence and by trying to dissuade people to go further into their different demonstrations and their different demands. So obviously what happened is that we've had a series of deaths, uh, we've had a, a struggle, a strong struggle between the government and its army and the people uh, in which we can see that either the ones or the others want to make the difference and unfortunately the consequence of all that is that neither the regime nor the opponents can really say they, that they achieved any positive steps or they, they that achieved any concrete uh, positive advances into their positions. So the question that will still be prevailing in the future is the following. Will we really be able to get the regime and the opponents to agree on something and to build on it? Or on the contrary, will we see violence prevailing and the ones and the others exerting violence or exerting challenges without being able to build any future common prospects? So it, it is hard to, to try to determine what will be going on in Syria in the following days, weeks or even months, but I would say that taken as a whole we could talk about two possible scenarios. The first one would be based on the possibility for the opponents to achieve their, uh, their objectives and to get to a point or to get to a weakening of the regime or let's say even a toppling of the regime that could open the way or open the path for a building or the building of new institutions, for the organization of free elections, for the designation of new representatives and so on. I would say that that would be the most likely scenario, but according to me, I can't really see any sign that could lead us to think that it could really happen. And there is, there is, this is how we can get to another possible scenario, which according to me is the most likely scenario. And it is a scenario in which on the one hand we will continue to see violence exert, exerted on the ground and the army inter intervening in order to avoid the demonstrators to go further in their different organizations of, um, of demonstration, demonstrations and their different demands. But on the other hand, I would also say that anyway, that doesn't mean that the Syrian regime will keep on, uh, keep on, uh, I mean, stagnating and keep on blocking perspectives uh, on the political scene. Uh, we've seen that the, the the regime has talked, has lifted the emergency law, a law that he has talked about organizing new elections. A new electoral law also has been uh, has been adopted by the government, and so all these signs prove us that anyway, in the coming months, I think that the Syrian regime will try to come with possible reforms, light reforms, but reforms anyway. But unfortunately, on the other side, I'm not sure that anyway that this will be the solution for the Syrian regime. So I think that the Syrian regime will be able to maintain itself on the short and middle run, but the question is still open on the longer run. We will still be having a regime that will be able to gain or to achieve legitimacy with all what happened till now. I'm not sure of it, of course.